This is a new prototype of the intuitive six-axis joystick we're developing for gaming, drones, robotics, and CAD. We're planning on launching a crowdfunding campaign for the project this summer once we're farther along in our development. This six-axis joystick is different in that, while traditional joysticks only measure two or three axes of rotation, ours measures three axes of rotation plus three axes of movement. That's forward-backward, left-right, up-down, yaw, pitch, and roll, all able to be controlled simply by moving the stick in the desired direction. Your other hand can control a mouse, camera, VR pistol, gesture, or type on a keyboard. It gives you that control freedom. For users who like separating rotational and translational controls, the stick can also be used more simply as a highly intuitive 3DOF motion controller for delta throttle type control in either hand. For users with limited control or dexterity options where single-handed control is necessary, this controller is also useful. Previous examples of six-axis controllers have not been well suited to precision navigation. Our approach uses extremely precise force sensors acting through a spring steel suspension. That means no moving parts, no sticking, wearing, or manual calibration required. It's such a smooth action that you can literally measure the weight of a feather with it. By acting on force sensors through a spring suspension, it allows for about one centimeter of motion in any axis. This provides a blend of kinesthetic feedback, like a traditional motion-based stick, with the higher range of input values, reaction speed, and sensitivity customization associated with force controllers. The device includes 26 digital inputs and an analog thumbstick. We designed all of the inputs to be fully ambidextrous, requiring only the swapping of the thumb lever to switch from right to left. We also paid special attention to the finger input placement to make sure that navigational control isn't compromised. As a result, half of the inputs can be accessed without the thumb breaking grip. We focused mostly on index finger operated controls as these have the least impact on gripping the handle. There are three two-way index levers which can be accessed from both sides of the controller. The dual stage index trigger also has a reverse action input, activated by bumping the downward hooked extension with the middle finger. There's also a new bump trigger in front of the main trigger to allow for another fast access index finger input. This totals nine inputs accessible by the index finger with the additional 10th activated by extending the middle finger and an additional two for the pinky and ring. Also new for this design is a single action thumb lever. The thumb can brace against the back of the lever for good grip control while keeping the ability to press the lever without breaking grip. When using six axes in one hand, Inadvertent access commands might be made at higher input forces, so we've programmed in an adjustable progressive dead zone. This increases the space between the axes the more force is applied, scaling the dead zone as appropriate. Being force sensitive allows for wide customization, and so this device includes four programmable mode buttons on the handle itself that will be able to swap profiles in real time for separate tasks, such as landing, high agility, or access exclusion. The neoprene padded armrest provides a fulcrum for increased control and reduced fatigue, especially for the side strafing and vertical axes. It is fully adjustable for any arm length and is removable or replaceable by user preference. There is a simple clamp that will be included to fix the controller to a desk or other flat surface. The frame also has a variety of threaded and unthreaded holes, including a 61 by 61 mm space set of M4 threaded holes, which is compatible with many of the joystick mounting systems. The USB cord is replaceable and most parts should be user serviceable by the time we get to crowdfunding. Let us know what you think about this project in the comments and what you'd like to see in the future. For more information and updates to the project, you can follow us on social media and check out our website in the description.